Fish Layers, thanks for tuning into this boat unveiling video, but I wanted to take a quick moment first to personally thank each and every one of you. This boat and this video would not be possible if it were not for you and your support. Guys, you truly are my rock, you're my foundation, you're the gas that keeps my fire burning, and I hope that I can provide you a little bit of fun and interesting content help you guys learn fishing and just enjoy the outdoors and being on the water. So guys, again, from the bottom of my heart, I am grateful to each and every one of you. I thank you guys. You have no idea how much you mean to me. I also wanna take a quick second to thank Tracker Boats and all of the guys at White River Marine. You guys have my back. I appreciate all of you. You guys have no idea and I hope to make you guys proud with this content on this boat. So thank you for helping me get into this rig. So guys, without further ado, let me show you the new Fish Hook Terry boat. Let's do it, guys. What's up, all my fish slang friends? It's your boy, Fish Hook Terry. Today is an extra special video. I apologize, guys. I've been keeping a secret, but I wanted to make sure all my ducks were in a row before I shared with you. Today, I am going to pick up my brand new fishing boat. That's right, guys. The evolution of Fish Hook is here to bring more content and to grow myself as an angler. I am upgrading. I'm changing over to a true fishing boat from the pontoon. We will talk about this though. There will be still pontoon fishing in my life, but right now I am going to a brand new fishing boat and I want to share that with you guys. I'm going to go pick that up right now and I'm going to keep that still a little secret until we get there, but I'm going to tell you we are heading over to Auburn Hills, Michigan to the local Bass Pro Shops. That gives you a little hint of what I chose. So stick with me guys, let's head over there to Bass Pro Shops right now and let's go check this bad boy out. I'm excited, I can't wait to show you. Let's go. All right, I am here at the Tracker Boat Service Center for Auburn Hills. Let's go inside and find this boat. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys the boat, kinda go through some of the quick nitty gritty on this boat but I'll come back at the end and talk to you guys about why I chose this model, this boat, for my content moving forward. All right, here she is, the Tracker Targa V18 Combo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, coming in, coming in yeah. Flex, I just wanna win, yeah. LABB, who we running with? Yeah, two, two, three, three, I'm on ten again. Yeah, state your name. Big bin dope on flame. I just switched the lanes. Damn, he did it again. I just flipped the pain. Stripping and dipping in bass. Slab on everything. Swimming, you sinking away. Cause I got big racks coming. I put my low racks on it. I ain't skip past losses. I had to get back off it. See the fit lab on it until they whip my coffin. Money clip, I tossed it. I heard it's big bags on big bags on big bags coming. Uh -huh. Coming in. Now we're gonna get into this brand new Targa V18 combo. I've got Tom here. He is the service manager for this Auburn Hills location. He's gonna walk us through the process when you come and buy a boat, kind of go, do the rundown of what to expect when you're getting that new boat. So we're gonna hop in and I'm gonna have Tom kind of show us around this brand new beautiful boat. All right, sitting in the, the cockpit of this bad boy. <clears throat> Check it out. We're looking at the new cockpit in our Target 18 combo for okay. 2020 model year. This is the first time we've designed it, so all your gauges are set to one side, allowing you to set a larger graph right in front of you, not taking your eyes off where you, the horizon where you're driving. All your switches here, you got your master power, bilge, aerator ins, forward, and aft. Also your pump outs. Both live wells do have the pump out feature as well. Very cool. Now, on that note, where are my live wells? Live wells, you have one on the aft deck, one in the bow. Okay. Since we're back here. Okay. This is your 30 gallon aft live well. There is a bait bucket insert that fits right here. I saw that guy yep. up there. All right, cool. All right. And that's a huge live bulb. That's sweet. 
So it comes with a bucket, so when you're going to get your baits, you can take it to the store with you. That fits right in here. Awesome, that's sweet. All right. Real convenient. Okay. So this live well does have a pump out, a recirc. Okay. There is a screen in the bottom, so when you do pump it out, it keeps a lot of the larger debris from clogging up the hoses or the pump. Nice, all right. Cool, see that down in there. Turn the light on oh, for you. Sweet, that's awesome. That's gonna make it real convenient. You're over here. This is your aerator fill. You control the flow in by adjusting this. Okay. The red handle here, the red nozzle, sure. is the pump out Got or it. research feature. When nice. the not red nozzle's in, it's under research. When you pull that out, it stops the flow in, so it just pumps out through the screen there. Cool. It right. leaves a little bit of water, as you see the difference in height. Sure. Pumps out water to here. Okay. That keeps the water, a little bit of water in the boat, so anything in the live well, scales, anything the fish spit out, okay. it will not dry out and make your live well stink. <laughs> <laughs> good, all right. This side good. has now become a cooler feature. Okay. It does have a hole in the bottom, it will drain. Nice. It's great to use as a cooler. It's great to use for wet storage. Throw lines in there, throw wet towels in there. It'll drain out through the bilge. This is your crank battery. Okay, all right. This will run everything on the boat other than the trolling motor. Okay. All right. Um, it does get charged by your main motor. Okay, all right. While you're running approximately 2,500 and above is when you get the best amount of charge back into that battery. And for the first time in 2020, what used to be battery storage is now in a box to pull out for tackle or tie down ropes are great here and then a lot of storage below deck. Awesome. Oh, that's good. And that's what I need. Storage. Storage, storage. Storage Got is lots, key. Lots of gear. I need the storage. What we've also liked about this boat, being brand new, first time having it in our hands, what used to be a large bulky bench now is individual seating. Yes. Flip up. That's really cool. So, so what that provides you, comfortable seats at a good height for people even shorter than I. Yeah. To sit comfortably in the boat. Yeah, these are nice. Yeah. It also gives you now a step up. So coming to different levels, you don't have a 14 inch rise. You literally have two steps. This one has a drain that goes below deck as well, okay. which also acts as ventilation for your fuel and whatever's below deck allows it to dry out and aerate properly. The weight, nice. by cutting these and removing a section, yeah. make them individual, anyone can do this. It's not the only strong person in the boat doing it. So there's a little clip down here. Okay. The easy way to do it is to put your hand on it okay. and lift vertically straight up. The whole thing comes out as one. You want to line up this groove Match into the groove in the seat base, right there. She's locked in. So go ahead. How easy is that, right? You have your swivel. Okay. You lift up, it'll pour a turn lock. If you put it down, okay. it just free spins. One more thing while you're on the rear deck. Sure. You're also gonna note that we do have lights, ambient lights. They are push in, push out, run Okay. Off. These are hardwired to the battery. There's no switch for them. There's gonna be many of nights fishing at dark for the full moon, so mm -hmm. those and the light in the live well are gonna be very convenient. Right. Rod storage, storage on the other the side panel. with tubes going forward to block any loose debris from going all the way up. Like that, very nice. If you look, it does have a rain channel throughout. Okay. The rain will go into here. There is a drain hose underneath that, so it will go into the bilge and drain out when you pump the bilge pump. Storage on the sides of the gunnels on the port side. This is where we hide a ah, lot of the goodies. There you go. So There's my ski pylon. Yep, your uh, paddles here, ski pylon here, okay. and light holders for your bow and stern light. Oh, great. So when they're away, you have a spot to put them. They won't be loose inside the boat. The majority okay. of the storage is lockable. Only yes. a few compartments wouldn't be, so there's plenty of space to secure your cargo. And, and that's, I think that's a key for me. Uh, you know, I plan on traveling with this boat a lot, so being able to lock storage, especially expensive rods mm -hmm. and gear, that's a must. Okay. Right, another tap light on this side. Awesome. And then comes your rod storage, your main rod storage. That's great. Now, if you look, what used to be battery compartment here, now okay. is in floor storage. Awesome. So if you want to reach for that, sure. I don't want to get in the way of that. Yeah, no, that's cool. 
more storage. Yep. Any any way to maximize it exactly. is key. That's cool. Awesome. Again, lockable. Keep all your expensive gear in here. In the floor now, new for 2020, we do have this little storage bin. Okay. That's great. And your batteries for your trolling motor. As you see, if you did decide someday to upgrade to the 36 volt, okay. there's plenty of room for another battery in there. Rest on either side, you will see storage. Okay. The best and most important thing is this. Easy access, but secure access to all your fuses right there. There you go. Everything at your fingertips. Look at that. I haven't had a graph on a boat in forever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited for this. This is gonna be great to finally be able to have GPS and all that on here. And what, down imaging as well? Down, down scan, scan as well. All you do is yes. hit page and select what you want. Yeah, super Structure, simple. down, and then here you can do dual screen or you can actually customize your own. Oh, this is gonna be a huge tool. I love that. A new great. feature as well that I haven't even had time to play with yet is the cell phone holder. So you keep your cell phone right here, you can stream all your Bluetooth oh, right to it. Cool, like that. Tilt. Okay. New locations for the speakers, how they're set inward, out of the way, you're not gonna rub your knees on them. Cup holders below, away from here, it frees up space on the council for gauges, for shifting locations, everything. Yep. And the ever important horn. Sounds good. It's not it's manly. I like it's manly. That. It's not annoying. <laughs> some of them sound like foghorns. Some of them sound like sick. Yeah. They sound <laughs> ill. <laughs> no, that, that sounds good. All right, where I'm going to spend a lot of my time at the bow of this boat. All right. Very cool. It's got these pads up here. The kids can sit, relax. I like that a lot. Um, but while I'm fishing, those are going to be gone. They're easy, right? They just snap out. Snap right out. Very cool. And then you got some storage. So we'll get into that here too. This year, we have carpeted storage here. Oh, nice. nice compartment for tackle, life jackets, the kids' toys, books, whatever you want to do up here. Yeah, rice storage. That's good. I like that. This here is the plug for your onboard battery charger. Hey, all right. It used to be in the back of the boat. Okay. Now that the boat, the batteries are moved forward, it makes sense to move it back here. Shorter distance, less loss of power over or the distance. Yep, like that. Now we have a ah. nice large box of storage. Great for Plano boxes and tackle. Yes, that's Freezer great. Freezer space on the deck. It's very cool, like that. Similar storage, not quite as deep on this one. Great for spinner bait boxes. Mm. Now with this one up, this is now your other live well, 19 gallon live well. This does have the same on this side, pump out feature, control aeration. You see the screen in there for the pump out and the recirc yep. and the actual drain. So when you Great. want to just loose drain that, it will yep. look on the left side of the panel. Okay. We do have trim for the main motor here. Okay. So this boat, although it's 18 feet, it's a vicious deep V for the northern water. Sure. You still can get skinny. Yep. When you get a little skinny because you're bass fishing, yep. you can kick this up. And That's still awesome. Stay out of trouble. Yeah, another light here. Love it. Plug in for your trolling motor. Live well fell here. That's awesome. Sweet. Cup holder light. This boat comes standard with this Minn Kota Power Drive V2. 70 right? pound. 70 pound thrust, 24 volt. Okay, so. This, I am, you have no idea how excited I am for this motor right here. So Tom, talk about this beast. This what we is have. the new Mercury 200 Pro SX, SX four stroke. V8. This thing with the <laughs> Torque Master lower unit. Oh. This boat is gonna go, it's gonna fly. I'm not gonna say it's gonna be scary but this is gonna move. <laughs> I'm excited, this is, this is awesome. Went through the options, I was like, okay, listen, I want the biggest motor I could put on it, which is a 200, mm -hmm. and you know, I wanna get into real big water kind of situations. Lake St. Clair can turn nasty from time to time. It might wanna take this out to Lake Michigan, Grand Traverse Bay, all this kind of stuff. I want to make sure I can get back home safely. I wanted the biggest motor 
And look at it, it's just gorgeous. It's gonna be sweet. Beautiful motor. Can't wait to run this. So real quick, we, we popped the cowl off this and this is a great little spec sheet for your maintenance schedule on these Mercs. And I have time kind of show you here real quick too. So as you're looking, it'll tell you verbatim every hundred hours of use or once yearly. In Michigan, winterization time. Engine oil and filter, gear case lube, that's part of winterization. Um, Anesthesia, do the anodes, check the anodes, do the thermostat, anesthesia spark plugs, low pressure fuel filter, we check all those items, if see if they need replacement. Okay. 300 hours is essentially what we call the tune-up time. You're doing your spark plugs, low pressure uh, fuel filter. We replace the drive belt, replace the impeller water pump. Um, aside from the belt, you know, the spark plugs, the belt, fuel filters, you know, look at all those things at that point. Cool. And real fast here too. So it's got this QR code. Uh, we had to download a QR code because it's been a while since either of us used one, but watch this. So got the QR code, let's put it on here. It finds it. It takes you right to Mercury's maintenance YouTube. So then you can actually break down all of these different maintenance items, watch the video and know how to do it. That's really awesome, real convenient. Love that. It's, and again, it's all right here. If you need it, just pop the cowl. You're ready to go. That's right. Cool. It is home. The new boat is here. Uh, I wanted to say a couple quick things. Say hi, baby. Say hi. First off, this boat, um, I, like I told you guys in the beginning, I was gonna tell you why I got this boat. This is, yes, this is a Targa V18 combo. And that's one of my main reasons right here. I wanna bring the kids out on the boat, something nice and comfortable and that it's it's set up for a family atmosphere. It's got a lot of space, it's got the, the comforts of the back seats, it's got the ski pylon, again, it's got the pads up front, and with these, these deep gunnels, it's gonna be a little safer for the kids. And so I'm excited for that for this boat, and the other thing is I really wanted something big so I could take on Big water, Lake St. Clair, all around the state of Michigan. I mean, this is the Great Lakes state, so I wanted to make sure that I can go fish and catch a lot of different species of fish out of a boat. Bass boats are really nice, but this fit my style much better, and I think it's gonna fit for our family much better as well. I gotta thank you, the viewer, the subscriber. If it wasn't for you and your support over all these years for my YouTube and my Instagram, this boat would not be possible. Thank you so much for everything. Again, this would not be possible if it wasn't for you. And then the second one, the big one, I've gotta thank Tracker Boats, White River Marine, Bass Pro Shops, the guys over at Auburn Hills, Tom, who's in this video. These guys have treated me incredibly with this boat. This partnership with them is going to be absolutely incredible. I've got a lot of ideas for content that I wanna to bring to you guys, and this boat is gonna be the tool to do so. Right, Ella? Yes. Yay! So, I'm gonna use this to the full extent to get as, as much amazing content as I possibly can for you guys. And I want you guys to be there with me along the journey, continue to see this whole Fish Hook Terry thing grow, and I wanna build content that you guys wanna see. This boat is gonna go all around the state of Michigan, maybe out of state, do a lot of great, new, interesting things to help bring people into fishing and the outdoors. And again, so thank you to Tracker, thank you to you, Guys, we really appreciate it. Uh, and again, love you guys, for real. It's, um, this is gonna be an awesome tool, bring you guys some amazing content. So stick kiss. with us. Hey baby, can you blow a kiss? Blow a kiss. Can you blow kisses? <coughs> ah, crappy. Can you blow a kiss? Oh, blow kiss. Mwah. Can you blow a kiss? <coughs> ah, 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 ah. <laughs> I wanna thank you again for everything. I will catch you in the next one. Tight lines, everybody. Peace.